Now we move on to the next question on our worksheet. And so that's going to be in the space below, draw a vector that is equal to negative b. So first of all, we're going to come up here and like we did before, look at our equation, minus 2 i hat. Well, that means we're going 2 to the left. And minus 3 j hat, that means we're going 3 down. That's if we had vector b. Because I've got minus b, that means I've got the same components, but it's going to go in the opposite direction. So left becomes right, and down becomes up. Now you can also think of this as I multiply the entire equation. by a negative 1, and so my negative vector becomes then plus and plus. And so negative b is plus 2 i hat plus 3 j hat because I reversed both of the components. And again, that shows us that I've got 2 right and 3 up. Now, I'm going to show this to you two different ways, so hang on just a minute as we work on this. First, I'm going to draw in the actual b vector. And so it's going to go 2 to the right, and then 1, 2, 3 down. That's b. If I want minus b, it's going to be a vector which goes 2 to the right and 3 up. So the one we actually want is this minus b. But I just wanted to show you real quick that it is exactly the same length but the opposite direction to our original b. So on your worksheet, you should not have the b vector. You should only have the minus b vector. And again, it's not going to matter where on this grid you draw it as long as it goes 2 to the right and 3 up, just like minus b would. 